guys welcome back i am Stu, and this is beach barbecue blast a local entrepreneur's sea life park has gone bust you already operate a small park and buy the other park from the construction company develop a big combined park your objective to have at least 2200 guests in your park at the end of october year five with a park rating of at least 600 so these scenarios have started to be a bit of a chore i've got to be honest i'm not really finding them challenging so i thought i'd do something a little different with this one which is why i've done the time lapse so what i did when i came in researched thrill rides i believe it was and then just built some cheap and cheerful rides down here a lot of a lot of the same mini golf courses a lot of the flat rides just down here um and then once we had a bit of cash i started building a path all the way up to this area here so this is meant to be the park that's gone bust that we've bought out so i just bought enough land to do a single tile path all the way up i used some um no entry signs to try and block off the path into the top floor which hasn't really worked so i haven't blocked it off very well um i put some shops and things like that in this area i haven't done too much with it um my original plan was to try and use as much of this map as i could but um the land is very expensive i've got to be honest it's like 100, 150 pound a tile but that's not really the main problem the main problem is the fact of how pain painstakingly tedious it is to buy each land one tile at a time so i uh, abandoned that plan and um pretty much just fast forwarded straight to the end once we had the guest goal followed a few guests around whilst we were doing it that was a little interesting some of them were going on the same ride all the time and um just wandering aimlessly back and forth back and forth so after that then we started building a few coasters nothing too extravagant um these limb coasters here all it does is it goes up and uh, there's the half loop section there because what you want to do is you want to trick it into thinking it's an inversion once you trick it into thinking it's got an inversion then the stats come back good if it was just going straight up and straight back down you'd come back with bad stats this little bit here where it goes slightly upside down I, you don't need to have it going as far as i've got it it only needs to go slightly into the half loop for it to think it's an inversion and it'll give you good stats um i just wanted to make it look a bit more interesting by doing that uh, mini coaster here decent stats on that what else have we got a couple of inverted shuttles here haven't bothered naming them on this one decent stats on this one spiral coaster this was one of the guest favorites for a while good stats on it i don't build these enough i've got to be honest i'll have to I'll have to make an effort to build them more junior coaster and i think this is the guest favorite boomerang coaster let's have a look guest favorite yeah good stats fairly small footprint uh, it's benefiting from also having the path go over the track as well i'll give it a bit of a excitement boost and I'll put some uh, some scenery underneath the track as well it's actually on the lowest speed setting can't go any lower than 67 and what's the track height 155 there you go um couple of these over here reverse three four coasters decent excitement on that the queue for the one on the outside is a bit longer than i'd have, I'd have liked um i was planning on building something this side otherwise i would have just put the the queue that way and um and some of these impulse shuttles as well just here help get the guests in nice and early only a few days to go um a few boring stats um 
because some people sometimes people do ask why i don't do these sort of time lapse videos more often okay there's some reasons for that firstly this now is the eighth video that i've done on this scenario so the time lapse is split up into seven videos plus this as well to make it number eight that'll give us around three hours and 20 minutes i think of raw footage um it won't take that long to edit down to be honest probably only about 10 minutes i would have thought to just to do the initial chopping um and then speed up the first say seven videos um so i'm not sure how that how long it's going to end up but uh, I would have thought it'd be somewhere around the 10 to 20 minutes mark. Um, and around probably about just under 20 gigs worth of, of video as well. So um, so there's, that's the reason why I don't, I don't do the time lapse as often. And it's Halloween. So we're going to pass the scenario. Cool. Stoo! Um, it... The guest, the number of guests coming into the park did feel a little sluggish for the first year or so, and then I think once we passed around twelve hundred, they were just they were just. I think we had the green arrow all the way through. It was just coming in really, really quickly. So um, that's why pretty much the last year or so I haven't really done much because I haven't needed to, and as I said, I was going to expand up here, but buying the land was so tedious that i just gave up so yeah so this was beach barbecue blast hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like and subscribe there's only a few of these of these wacky worlds scenarios left and then once we've done that we're gonna crack on with a time twister one time twister ones and then um, maybe do some custom scenarios or, or that sort of thing so stay tuned and uh, i'll see you next time Bye.